Hey BFP TV viewers, it's Chris and we're in sunny Arroyo Grande, California and today we're looking at Endurascape greenhouse production in spring of quartz. If you don't know Endurascape by now, uh, we could pick one up out of the trial here. It's pink bicolor, a brand new color. Endurascape's all about heat performance further into the summer. The most heat tolerant verbena on the market. It's going to bloom all summer long and most verbena can't do that. Verbena from Endurascape are also vigorous. It's a great landscape product or for large municipal containers, large baskets. The question many growers ask is, how am I gonna produce it in a quart or four inch so that I can get it to the landscape customer? Today we have the answer. So let's look at how we got this beautiful pot of pink bicolor Endurascape. We stuck on week two. We put it on bottom heat with 68 degrees Fahrenheit and then we transplanted week five. Take a look at the liner shot on the screen now. We transplanted 18 days after stick. It's a young liner. We pinched to two nodes, but it's really important to get this product planted quickly because Endurascape is vigorous. It could stretch in the liner phase. So you're gonna to wanna to get it transplanted as quick as possible and get that pinch on before you have any stretch on the product. Once we transplanted it, we moved it into this finished greenhouse that I'm in right now. You can see the grow out here, plenty of flowers on all the colors, looking great. The nighttime temperatures in this greenhouse are 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The cooling set point with no cool pads, just passive cooling with fans is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And our average moles per day are right around 15 moles per day in spring production. It's week 12, the product's ready to ship to the landscape customer or ship to retail in the court format. And what did we do from a PGR perspective to get from week two to week 12? That's 10 weeks finish time from stick. And obviously we PGR'd this pot. So we did a two PPM bonsai drench 10 days after transplant. That's really early. But again, if you look at the screenshot, this product is active. It really wants to grow quickly. So to avoid stretch, we wanna get that bonsai in the pot and active right away. Again, 10 days after transplant, a 2 ppm bonsai drench. Now, when you're producing in early spring with warm greenhouse conditions like we have here, you may need a second application of bonsai. That's 2 ppm again. We did it at 38 days after transplant in this trial in a spring setting. Because Endurascape has the ability to overwinter in a 7B, zone 7B, this product could be grown cool too, with a nighttime temperature of maybe 40 degrees, 35 degrees. If you have an outdoor production area that's not gonna get frost, that would be a great way to grow it and you could probably skip one PGR application. Now, all the colors in Endurascape, including the pink bicolor, purple, dark purple, magenta, the white blush, the, the um, blue, they can all be produced with this 2 ppm bonsai drench. But when you get to the red, it's more compact. So we're recommending B9, 2,500 parts per million spray so that you get a matching habit to the rest of the series on the same timing. B9 at 10 days after transplant, B9 at 38 days after transplant. And that's gonna give you a uniform court that you can ship across all colors just 10 weeks after stick in, in spring. So thanks for tuning in to BFP TV. You can reference the website from ballfloorplant.com to get all the details of this culture grow out and a PowerPoint that supports it. And remember, at Ball Floor Plant, we like to create varieties that thrive, not just survive. Thanks for tuning in.